The topic of climate change has the tendency to make people frown, but a new study suggests that ancient climate change is where your smile originally came from. I'm Dan Riskin. The teeth at the front of your mouth, your incisors, are not the same shape as the teeth in the back of your mouth, your molars. And that difference within your mouth is part of a mammalian pattern. Dogs are like that too, so are beavers and kangaroos, but not crocodiles or sharks. So why did mammals evolve that way? Well, if you look back at the ancestors of mammals, reptiles that lived in the time of the dinosaurs, their teeth are all the same. They're just a bunch of pegs. But over time, those mammal ancestors changed and a new fossil from Utah sheds light on the very beginning of that shift where teeth first changed into big canine-like teeth that would help an animal capture prey. The timing of the change in the mouth coincides with a period of rapid climate change 300 million years ago. So researchers argue that specialized teeth in different parts of the mouth likely emerged as an adaptation to help our predatory ancestors catch prey at a time when global climate change turned the carboniferous wetlands into drier seasonal environments. And the fossil that has everyone so excited is called Shashhaya burmani. And that species name, Shashhaya, comes from the Navajo word for the land it came from, shash ha, or bear's heart. In English, we call it the bear's ears. The fossil comes from Bear's Ears National Monument. And you've probably seen in the news over the past few years that Bear's Ears has been the source of intense debate about whether we should conserve land for environmental sustainability or extract resources for economic gain. And this fossil found right there is screaming out a reminder that climate change has huge repercussions even on evolutionary timescales. For ctvnews.ca, I'm Dan Riskin.